In today's tutorial we are going to do the teeny weeny crochet caps. This pattern is available in four different sizes. We have in the very back we have the up to three month size. We then have a newborn size just like this. We also have a five to six pound preemie size and we also have the preemie preemie of three to four pounds. You can see when you lay them all out you can see that they are different sizes and they are also different heights. The pattern that we're doing today will be listed on the title of this video. In today's tutorial we're going to do newborn size for the teeny weeny crochet cap and you're going to need a four and a half millimeter a US size seven crochet hook in order to do this. You can get a total of nine of these hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So as promised this pattern comes in four different sizes and all of the sizes are available in this very easy to follow pattern instructions. So we have preemie sizes of three to four pounds. We have another preemie size of five to six pounds. We have a newborn of seven to nine pounds and then an up to three months of tw 10 to 12 pounds. Now the title of this video is indicating what size that we're gonna be working on today. So it says right here in the instructions on how many hats. So it says you see how there's different colors those are what's indicating in the instructions as we go out through throughout this particular idea. So we're gonna start off in the instructions for example and if we're doing the preemie size of three to four pounds it'll say you do all of this and then it says three to four pounds only. So this is only gonna apply when you're working on this one and then you will see in other instructions of what you need to do. So if size is five to six, seven to nine, ten to 12 all is here instead. So you just have to watch these particular colors. Now for this particular kind of project it says that for one hat one ball will make 15 hats and then the next size of five to six months of uh, sorry five to six pounds of the preemie it's 10 hats. The next size of newborn it'll be nine hats and then up to three months you can get six hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So without further ado let's start working on this project together and uh, let's begin now. So let's begin with our Karen Simply Soft yarn. Let's create a slip knot and this is for beginners as well. So the first three rounds on any one of the four sizes are identical to each other and let's begin to do that now. So here's our slip knot on the hook. Remember that it never counts as one. So we need to start at the top of the hat and work our way down to the forehead of the child. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three. So remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So one, two, and three and what it's asking us to do is do eight half double crochets in the third chain from the hook which is basically the first one that we started with. So let's just wrap the hook going into the first chain, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. That's one of eight. So let's continue to do that. So wrap in, pull through, pull through all three. So that was number two. Okay and that was three. Now this straggler here, see how I'm just laying it down on top so that it covers over the ring? It's just a way of uh, securing that without ever having to worry about it. So that was five, six, seven and eight. So what you need to do, it says here, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Well we had to do eight. So just looking back, if you're confused, count backwards. So you got one underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Is right there. So if you're ever confused in what you're looking at, just count backward at this point and join it with the slip stitch. And that's the center ring. Let's move along to round number two. So we wanna start off with chaining of two and what we have to just do is we go uh, just chain two, one and two and into the same stitch right underneath you want to uh, half double crochet two times. So one and two. You will notice in the instructions that the chaining of two in any starting of the rounds does not count as a stitch. So just don't count that as a stitch. So it's not included as a half double crochet. So we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch going all the way around. Now if you're thinking about this, how many stitches are you gonna go all the way around? It's a total of eight. Okay, so we're just adding two half double crochets into each one going all the way around. Right in the very beginning here is where you need to really worry about your stitch counts to get them right. So 
So at the end what I want to do is that I want to count each group of two and there should be a total of eight when I've done that. So I can either just count it out loud as I'm going here or I can just count it when I'm done. I think there's seven here because I still have one left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's my last one here. So you probably thought okay well there if you're a new crochet there there was actually two. This one is extending into the first one so that's why it doesn't count. So we want to join this with the top of the beginning half double crochet to finish that off and that was round number two. So let's move along to round number three. Round number three. We're going to start out by chaining two. Remember that does not count as a stitch and in the next one available to you. So right directly underneath you're gonna have two half double crochets. So one and two and then in the next one that we have here it says one half double crochet in the next one. So it's just gonna be by itself. So the repeat pattern on this entire round is that one of them which is this next one is gonna have two half double crochets and the next one's just gonna have one. Okay, so we're just increasing size. So the next one's gonna have two and then the next one's gonna have one. So please do that same configuration going all the way around for round number three. So then coming up all the way around in the end of round number three the last one should be one single crochet by itself. So and how do I know that's to be true? We started off with two and then one, two and one, two and one. So the very last one should just be a one. Okay, because the next one is a two. So once you get that done just join it to the beginning half double crochet that we started with. I just went into a gap by accident. Make sure it is to an actual stitch not to a gap space because it'll appear very obvious if it's separating. So that is round number three. So now what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to move on to the size that we're doing in this particular video in order to do the rest of this. So now we're ready for the fourth round and this is the newborn size of seven to nine pounds. Now this round is identical to the premium of five to six pounds as well as the up to three months of ten to twelve pounds. So this round is identical. So let's uh, begin to do this next and we're going to chain up two and we're gonna put two half double crochets right in below. Okay and the repeat pattern on this particular round is really quite simple. So the next two are going to be by themselves. So two half double crochets in a row and then the next one is gonna be two into the next one. Okay, so the repeat on this, let's review this one more time, is going to be two half double crochets by themselves and then the next one is gonna have two double crochets in the same stitch. So please do that all the way around for round number four. So as you finish up round number four it'll still stay in sync so there's two and uh, in the same one and then two by themselves, two in the same one and then the final two by themselves. So everything stays in sync if your stitches are right. If you don't end up with two by themselves at the end of the, the repeat pattern then you know that something is wrong in the revolution itself. So join it to the first half double crochet and let's move on to round number five. So round number five is different. Uh, from the other rounds and round number five is only for rounds uh, of this size of the seven to nine pounds and also ten to twelve pounds. So this is round number five. So let's begin and we're gonna chain up two and then we're going to put in a half double crochet in each of the three and then two into the next. So let's begin to do that. So the first three are going to be half double crochets each one and two and three and then the next one is gonna be having two half double crochets in the same stitch. So for round number five the repeat pattern for this size is one half double crochet into the next three. So this is two and three and then the next one has two in it. So two half double crochets in the same stitch. Please do that same configuration going all the way around for round number five. So in keeping with the same configuration as I come up all the way around it should be the same. So these three are one half double crochets each and the final will be two half double crochets into the final. So as I come up all the way around the final four stitches will be uh, following the same sync. So the next three are half double crochets by themselves and then the final is two 
double crochets into the same one. So I'm just keeping the same stitch counts and configuration going all the way around. Let's join this to the top of the beginning half double crochet. So this concludes the growth rounds for the remainder of this. So let's show you how to move on for all other rounds now until you get to the brim. Our goal is when we look at a different sample is that we need now to finish it and go in through all this. It will continue to grow until we get to the size that we're looking for. In this particular one that we're doing we're looking for four and a half inches between the top of this and to the brim and so if you just grab your tape measure. So you can see I got a little bit of way to go right over here for this particular size. It goes relatively quickly but let's show you how to begin to do this round. So let's uh, do this round and we're going to chain up two and it's one half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. So we're gonna continue to do that same thing round after round after round until you get to the four and a half inch height. So you're gonna notice that it's gonna start turning into a bowl shape as you go. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'll just fast forward then to the end of this round show you how to join it once again and how to start and then what we're going to do then is have you do the remainder and then I'll join you back on how to finish it off. Do a border edge and uh, just weave in your tails as well. So do that and I'll meet you back here in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way back around. It's just one half double crochet in each stitch going. Once you get all the way to the end just join it to the top of the first half double crochet uh, stitch and then start again. So chain two and one half double crochet in each. So what I want you to do or what I want you to do at this point is go all the way around and around and around until you get to four and a half inches tall and then we're gonna then work on the on the brim from that. So just sit back, relax, enjoy this um, uh, particular hat and then when we come back well then we'll work on the brim together. You're gonna notice this, this is really gonna start forming its shape really short, uh, really soon. So I'll see you back here and we'll do the brim together. So when I last left you I had to get to this to be four and a half inches and that's what I have. So now let's begin to do our final revolution and the re revolution is just chain one and one single crochet into each. Now I'm going to um, just go all the way around. I'll show you how to finish this off. Now one thing I will give you a word of caution is make sure you take care of those tail ends especially if you're donating this out to a charity. Uh, the last thing you want to, a parent to worry about if they're being gifted this is that your tail ends are hanging out. So when I come back I'm going to show you how to finish this off and then show you how to weave in your ends so that you have no tails at all hanging out of your project. I'll be right back. So as you get all the way back around just single crochet right into the end and then you're just gonna join it to the top of the first single crochet or to the beginning single crochet and you're just going to leave this here and you're gonna cut about one foot length and just pull this string through this loop. So what you're going to do now is hide in your loose ends or your, your, your final end so you have no tails that hang out. Grab a darning needle and feed your yarn onto the needle. The needle should be relatively sharp and here's how I'm gonna have you do it. Now your project can never stretch in three directions at one time. So what you're going to do is that you're gonna glide underneath for about an inch into some fibers and come out the other side. So that was one and then you're gonna glide in the opposite direction under a different set of fibers. If you go in the exact same path it'll fall out. So you want different set of fibers for two and then going back in the third direction again a different set of fibers for three. So if you go back and forth three times you can safely cut this down right to the project. You'll never have a loose end hanging out and then what you want to do is then take care of the loose end that's in the top because I had you hide it as you went it, as you did it in and therefore you can safely then put this in your donation box and this is the newborn size of doing the teeny weeny crochet caps. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a super day and we'll see you again. Bye.